Hello YouTube fans and welcome back to the channel. Today I would like to show you guys something really awesome. It is a very simple thing. It is my traffic sign mark. It's uh, well really something you uh, wouldn't expect but you see a lot of traffic signs, different traffic signs in all the different cities which are featured on YouTube and of course the traffic sign you see me holding here which is the standard Lego traffic sign but I made an own design a while back and I really like to show you guys because in the last update we did last week we did in fact not show you guys this traffic sign so to start off you might have noticed for those who follow the instagram account that we already right after the update started to uh, match up the city and uh, reshuffle things and we'll show you later in another video what that's like but for now on YouTube, Jack Brick, you can follow us there, subscribe to the channel, and if you are an Instagram user and you want to see some extra insights on our progress of the city, you can visit our Instagram account, which is at Jack Brick Lego City. Well, to start off. I'm just going to polish this way. This is my uh, custom made whiteboard. It's really easy if you want to uh, pre scribble one of your designs and see how things will look. You can just use this. It's uh, very simple, it's just a piece of white paper within a plastic sheet. And with this little piece of sponge. I can just draw and then remove what I've drawn and draw something else. Well, first I would like to tell you something about traffic signs in general. In Holland, we have uh, pretty much the European traffic signs, which are like a very big pole made out of metal and you have this round sign which holds the three colors of light right so this is your standard touch traffic sign and we have those in two varieties you have the one on the pole standing on the side of the road and of course you also have one and that is mostly when there are a few traffic signs next to each other for when roads are dividing you actually have the same pole but then it goes to the side and you have this really thick piece of metal and all the cables are nicely put away inside the cable and you have of course the stripings on the side for accentuating that you are approaching roads that cross so in here you might have the arrows these are just full lights and some other arrows right so in holland this is for us a standard traffic sign but of course in our city which as you might recall is called brickstow a spin-off from the american barstow and the little fridge which is uh, next to it it's called brickberry springs as a resemblance to blueberry springs 
since it is situated in the United States, we should have United States-like traffic signs. And when you look on the internet, you have different types of traffic signs for whereas the uh, mostly the frame could be really complex. You see them shaped like this and they have these tubes with a nice curve walking like this and an attachment and then the traffic sign here which I also really love. They make these with all the little single rounded pieces one stud and then the thing is attached and it is a really nice resemblance to what they can be in real life. I don't know, are there more types of traffic signs we have seen? I'm thinking, oh yeah. I remember one which I saw uh, yesterday or the day before. And it was in fact, give me this one. <laughs> oh, there's my hand disattaching from my body. Which is weird. <laughs> I saw a video where a guy had a traffic sign like this. It's, uh, for the lighting it's pretty hard to get it right. A traffic sign like this, but then he also had the lights here and here and here. So it's something you can place like in the middle of a cross section. I would have roads like this and it would be in the middle and on each side you would have the traffic studs which also looked really nice but there's one thing I came up with which I have seen in well a lot of good television shows and series and they're mostly about the middle part of the United States and the southern part You might remember them, the traffic lights which are hanging above the street and the only thing they have to uh, stay attached is their own power cable and some little wiring going around. So in fact you just have a wooden pole or perhaps on the other hand a building. Some nice windows in there and a roof. And they just would attach it here and on the pole. So it's kind of hanging, bungling in the street with a piece of traffic lights here. And it's pretty typical for shows and series where things are getting, well, a little bit uh, tense, I guess. Then you see a bit more of wind blowing. It's like whoosh, whoosh. And then you see the traffic sign on his wire going like this. Yeah, so it's able to move in the wind. So that was something I would want to create. And I have succeeded in fact. And I'm going to put away this piece of whiteboard now. Because we're going to build it. Put myself aside, pretty important. The first piece you need is this. We will build it pretty slowly. It's one of the rotating little plates, two by two. A second thing you would need in pretty much of the same color. This is a brown one, I see, not a black one, but this one. So a two by two plate, but in a round shape. Another round shape. You need a flat tile. This is also the two by two. 
as you can see you can fit on right here and then you have this flat little piece need to separate those for now of course you need this one because we're going to build a traffic sign which does in fact have those little studs on each side so we can make it work for a cross section a complete cross section so i've already taken three of those and as you might notice they have just the not the blank colored and some are in fact colored for the position they need to be i've made it so that you can tell which lights are on and which lights are off when they are working and the funny thing is when you see the outcome you can see it is switchable so you can just leave them hanging there on their wire and you can switch which roads are having the green and which are having the red light so let's first do the really really difficult part put these pieces in the right order this is the one with yellow now I'm going to put that on the opposite side of the red light. You can see the red light is here with white and the yellow light is here. And the other two are now only with whites, right? And as you can see the green one has a green light on both sides and white on the other both sides. And if I attach it like this it is pretty much realistic because when traffic coming from this way have a green light then the traffic coming from the other direction also have the green light because when i switch it there's another green light so we have one for red they should stop one for yellow they well also should stop and two for green they are across to each other so traffic can just pass by and continue in the street now to build this light the last and most important piece i think what you need is the thinner type of wire it is used as you can see here this one was used for some crane works you have this little thing where it just folds up and you can set the length We need this wire because this is going to be our electricity wire where the traffic light is going to be bungling on. So we have built our traffic sign. Now the next thing you need to do is take the rotating piece and place it on top of it. Now as you can see here, they left some room in the middle so you are able to place a hollow stud on the bottom and you can push it firmly it doesn't matter it will still rotate but not as easy as it normally does but it rotates and put it on nice and straight so you have this beautiful cover above the lights which is important for well in case rain and such next thing you do is take your dark colored 2x2 two two rounded plate and place it on top of that and that one you can push down it is just to take away the lighter color and make the entire system work a bit better so this one is on now and we're still able to turn the light so when it's hanging in the city we can switch which traffic can go and which traffic has to stop 
Now for the last thing, and this is really important, you need to do this while you have your cord hanging in your city. You need to take the cord and when it's hanging there you should place the cord it's kind of hard to see like this wait let me just remove this for the lighting to be better so you guys can see what i mean you need to place the cord in between the two rows of studs and you do that on the darker colored two by two rounded plate so make it go like this on the darker one. And then the last thing you do is you take the smooth rounded tile, which we can see here, and you place it on top, but you just push it just enough for it to stick. You don't want to push it down completely because then your wire will get torn and then your traffic light will come down. But you have some space to push it down and as long as it is still able to move, you know you didn't push it down far enough. Okay. So now we are able to Make sure the cable is in the middle and we have a light which can move in the wind. Now for the placement which might be a bit of a challenge. For this one I have got the thing which holds the cable and I've used this snap plate, this one, placed it underneath so it can be attached on a building like this and I covered it with this smooth sloped tile so it might look like a bit of an electric box for the traffic light to work and in this case on the other side I have this hook and I can place it around a stud and it will click as you can see so I can just choose a building on the other side of the street which has a free stud or I will make it have a free stud then attach this and then you can hang up your traffic sign and again this one moves in the wind and resembles the traffic signs in the smaller places of the United States. Now we have created our traffic sign and we'll place it in the city. But there's one thing you need to know because you want it to be tidy and neatly in the center of your crossing section, right? So I'm going to explain to you guys how you can make it so that it will hang exactly in the middle and cross diagonally. So imagine you have base plates and here is your road plate and another road plate another road plate so it's crossing section and here in the middle we have the junction. What you want to do is make sure the light is attached diagonally like this or like this. Because this will make it happen that your light will be hanging in the wind exactly in the middle of your junction. So to achieve this you need to have two buildings practically of the same size 
at least the same height for where studs go. And you want those buildings to be here and here or here and here. In this way, you can cross over with your traffic sign cable from the one side to another. Now let's see how that looks in the city. So, here we go. You can see a lot of shade. Let me try to move out of the light. It's kind of hard to see. Here we have our traffic sign which is nicely hanging above the road. As you can see, it is positioned in the middle from this point of view and also from this point of view. Now you guys might think, well, that's not a junction. It's a T-section. Well, true, true. But I'm still able to switch my lights You need to hold the one plate and then you can switch it. As you can see now, we have a yellow light on this side. And we can also switch it to red. Now you can choose yourself how high or how low you want to have it hanging. Here I have this side of the cable attached and on the other hand there's this building and the benefit of this thing right here is you can turn it and it will slightly raise the traffic light and make your cable be really nice and straight so that's it for now thanks for watching till next time see you guys in brixto